Welcome ladies and gentlemen, we're back at it again now with the loser bracket semi-final. This is between my insanity and the Vega squadron. Uh, we will have to remake the lobby after the draft is done due to the fact that uh, Pasha is running a little bit late, but we just decided to already start the draft. And I'll just get it all a little bit going so we have a little bit less of uh, time lost uh, in the matches. And well, with me today is uh, Zach again. Zach, how are you doing? It's going good. How's it going? How's it going for yourself? I'm doing fine, man. Beautiful day. Okay. So. <laughs> Beautiful day indeed, but I'm stuck indoors casting the game, but I do enjoy it very much. Oh, yeah. And to uh, answer everybody's question, yes, we have Solo here. He is now a happily married man and he is playing this match. Yes, he is indeed. And uh, we're just going to go look into the draft right now. Uh, there have already been some picks. They're doing it quite fast today. And uh, for my Santi so far, we have seen... Uh, at least for the band side, uh, we have seen the Queen of Pain as well as the Chen. Pretty basic, strong heroes. Being picked up fairly often. We see the. Well, more. Uh, coming, yeah, you see just more since Team Secret is really picking it up. Uh, the Tusk. First ban of Vega. And after that, they banned up the Gyro. And my sanity, they went for a Visage and Sven here. Five seconds and yeah. uh, on Vega, they picked up a pretty classic combo Lashrek and Shadow Demon. So, what do you think yeah, so far? Well, it's great roaming potential with the Leshrac and the Shadow Demon. Visage is very, very strong with the Zven. That Soul Assumption is one of the best nukes level one, especially with that Storm Hammer. I'm not sure what position the Zven will be going. Like, usually you dual lane the Zven with a Wisp mid. You can do carry Zven. It's quite old and traditional, which I really like from the side of my entirety. Even if you want to, you can even run Zven as a support. It's really an orthodox, but it's something that you could possibly do. Yeah, if they feel like a a better core instead of Sven, that really could do it. Yeah, the one problem, yeah, and then you're gonna maybe see the Aghanims of Sven, that would be fun. Oh, that would be fun. Like, maybe Drow Visage could be very good with the Aghanims on the Sven. That would be ridiculous. But, yeah, they didn't even ban out the uh, the Drow here. Yeah, the, the Drow's left in the pool. I think that uh, the Vega feel like they could probably deal with the Drow, with the Leshrac and the Shadow Demon. And yeah, they can just blow. Oh. Well, pre BKB they definitely can. After BKB there was yeah. have been a couple of fights where they will definitely struggle though. That's why I think Zven's are very very strong indeed because naturally picks up a BKB Bloodseeker. Radiant team. Well, they're trying out uh, something new. I want to say here with the Bloodseeker pickup, it's it's okay versus these really squishy heroes though, and with the chase potential is also really great. And when Lashrek picks up a BKB, he is. Usually picks it up so he can just run around in the in the fight, you know, pulls now over everywhere. But with yeah, yeah the with, rainbow pony. Yeah, essentially yes. <laughs> but with the ultimate of Bloodseeker on you, you can't really run around like a crazy person. <laughs> yeah, can't run from Usain Bolt. <laughs> oh, no, definitely. Five seconds. No, one. definitely not. You know, in this case, it's actually more blood loss. <laughs> yeah, I call him Usain. He Zero to 100 miles an hour in like no time at all. And clockwork being picked up now. Jaws, I find really interesting myself. Using rupture on the clockwork, then he hooks shots in. That's always very funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, clockwork. So far, okay, they have a pretty well combos for Lashrek already. Like, Spade Earth is going to yeah. be pretty much guaranteed right now. Between yeah, disruption, <laughs> Get them stuck in the cogs, but I'm thinking uh, they could start off with a disruption and then they can also use the cogs to push them back or push them wherever, really. Seconds, really good control seconds, on that Sven in the Visage. Yeah. Time. I'm just wondering, yeah. are they actually going to pick up the, the draw range now? Because we do see more of a, just a basic Visage since the uh, nerf with the familiars. Yeah, the I draw. think that draw... The Drow Ranger won't be picked up here because they have two melee uh, heroes here. I'm not sure if they are being run as support. If they're run as support, it doesn't really matter, but we'll have to just wait and see. Uh, even for supports, yeah. It's going to be odd, mm. but so far, they don't really... They're, they're starting to show actually a little bit more in the mindset he drives so far with the plus seeker there, because where are you going to run him? That's actually the problem. Like middle? The, Jungle? The port blood seeker? Could that work? You could do... Uh, no... Maybe it, not. Everything no. can work. It's Dota. But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I honestly don't know. <laughs> My insanity are playing it really spookily, to be quite honest. They're just giving away no evidence whatsoever. They're keeping Vega on their toes. Indeed. Well, yeah. 
I'm just really wondering okay. right now. My sanity is gonna do with this blood seeker. I have 30 seconds left. Just pick up a Meepo. I told Lizard yeah. today I want to see your Meepo in the competitive game on this match. And... Yeah, you are a better Meepo than Lizard, aren't you? Mm, yeah, no, I just want to bug him to pick it while I'm casting. Yeah. I, so far, I haven't been able to cast it once. So I, I, you need I've to pick casted it up. a Meepo. Yeah, but I haven't casted the Lizard Meepo. Oh, that's probably the best Meepo. Uh, it's a strong. I don't know if it's the best Meepo because there are so many strong Meepo players, but he's the Dota buff number one Meepo. Ah, uh, Weehar as well. He's pretty good at the old Meepo. Five yeah, but he's, I don't know what team he's anymore. So, um, oh. <laughs> this is he's just a pub celebrity, or I don't know. No, I'm not sure. Uh, I know, this is a really fun combo. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> you can't run from heaven. <laughs> <laughs> Even though, especially with the new Bloodseeker, uh, or the new couple of places ago, the reworked... Uh, I also get the name, was it Blood Rage? Yeah, Blood Rage. Yeah, Blood Rage. Yeah, you just put it on Zeus and your ultimate does more damage. <laughs> it's so odd. Yeah, that's... Definitely uh, some horrible damage. <laughs> do you uh, think this is a core Leshrac, or do you think this is a support Leshrac? We've seen core Leshrac quite a lot recently, what do you think? Uh, I, th I think it's gonna be a core Leshrac. Yeah, I, 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 that, I That's something it. that they run, so... There's a big chance of them doing that. Yeah, solo off flame clockwork. Yeah. Ooh, Dazzle! 100%. Nice. Okay, now Leshrac can at least start to run around like a crazy person, the rainbow pony, whatever you want to call it, through the fights, with just a grave on him. Yeah. What's well, really strong combo as well, Disruption Soul Catcher into that Shadow Wave, that can kill near enough any hero in Dota, it does so much damage. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be disgusting in the beginning. Yeah, and uh, Bloodseeker actually does have high armor, and Visage doesn't. Visage, early game, without that early left on the Gravekeeper's Cloak, has zero armor whatsoever, so Shadow Wave will be maximized indeed. But I think they deal quite well with the Weave in because of the Zven Warcry gives 20 bonus armor for 8 seconds as well. Yeah, but the, weave, weave, the Weave is just probably for your own team in this case. But using it off offensively versus this Sven, yeah, that's going to be maybe a mistake. Yeah, I really find this Weaver ban quite interesting here. Like, they could probably deal with the Weaver very well. I don't think Weaver was the right ban, in my yeah. opinion. I don't they think true I don't think he, they should have banned him either. They're looking most likely for a mid hero. Maybe they should have banned yeah. a Shadow Fiend or something along those lines. Okay, it's confirmed. It's Cause Ven, Bloodseeker, and Zeus. That's gonna be uh, fun. There's not something you see quite often though. Yeah, this disruptor pick I think is the best pick we've seen here. Yeah. Disruptor really counters their draft. Think about it. If Dazzle can't shallow grave and shallow demon can't disrupt. It's horrible. And I think on the side of the Radiant, they're going to get a quite a hard farming carry right now. Because I think Leshrac might go mid. I'm not sure. But they can have a good roaming combo with a Shadow Demon and Dazzle. It's okay roaming combo because they can comp. I'm really confused. Radiant have really left it open. Yeah, that's true. That's definitely true. But yeah, there, there are a couple possibilities of them indeed to do it. But essentially, you're so. sure that Leshrac and Clockwork are going to be a core. You're just not sure what lanes. Yeah, I think a Medusa could be very good here because they have like really good saves as uh, well. Medusa is just its patch is just not that good. You're relying a little bit too much on snowballing it. Yeah, but the weave really synergizes well with a split shot. I don't know, probably not. Maybe no a Spectre could be good here as well. Like, that has more possibilities, but again, you have with Spectre, you have like your entire early to beginning of mid game. You're really really weak. Yeah, and this lineup really starts to shine at twenty minutes. Like once you got mm. all the ultimates up, level 2 ultimates of some of them, a couple of items, then they will start running at you. When the Spectre you need, usually even past 20 minutes if you want to go for a Radiance. Gyrocopter would have been really good, but they banned it yeah. out. Especially with Soul Catcher and the natural BKB on the Gyrocopter. But we'll have to just wait and see. Indeed, and they're, they're saying in the chat that my mic is not correct in the the game but i really have open mic on i will just do this real fast okay now i, I get that book i don't know why yeah you sound totally fine on my end maybe yeah, just a little it's bit quiet. in what uh, people are watching the uh, the draft through the other tv and they somehow say there you go shadow fiend said so oh shadow fiend sexy aha disruption into requiem of souls that hurts i promise you okay so they all left the game so we're gonna make the the new lobby now i'm gonna go over to the oops
no need to see that. I'm gonna go over to the waiting stream real fast and we'll be back in a couple of seconds. We'll just talk a little bit through it, I guess. Okay, cool. Wrong one. That's the correct one. This one? Oh, this is the one. Here we go. Let's put the... Yeah, there we go. Oh, great. Disconnect. Yeah, what do you think? Uh, what will happen? Lane-wise, are they going to go aggressive try lane on the side of... Uh... I reckon they have potential to go really aggressive. Yeah, with the like... side of uh, Vega, I mean, of course. Oh, with the side of Vega. Yeah, yeah. they definitely have potential to go aggressive. Um, what... Can you send me the password via Steam, please? I... Uh, sure, no problem. I'll send to you again. A lot of people that try to find out what the password is now, it's... Uh, bloody bloody. Good luck. Yeah. See, there we go. Um, I'm actually just gonna put on music right now, I think. Okay, cool. Or no, I'm gonna throw in a uh, a commercial on the stream. So if you if you have adblock off, you're gonna see a, commu uh, a commercial. If you don't have adblock on, uh, you have adblock on, you're gonna hear nothing at all. So have fun. Okay. <laughs> we'll be right back in uh, one or two minutes.
Okay, so sorry for the little bit of the delay here, ladies and gentlemen. We uh, just had to wait for Pasha. He's now here. The picks have already been made. That's why we're an all pick. And uh, yeah, we're all ready to go into the game. Zach, uh, you still here? Yeah, I'm still here. How's it going? Going good. Great, great. So, uh, what do you think? Yeah. Vega, still aggressive or not? Yeah, Vega, very aggressive early game. I think, draft-wise, I think Vega have got what it takes to take this game against my insanity. And yeah, I hope for it to be a very good game and entertaining. Me as well. My insanity definitely has the, yeah, a little bit odd draft, I would say. Like, not the pickups that you usually see as fan and... Bloodseeker aren't that picked up. Definitely last patch. Yeah. Like Zeus, Visage, Disruptor, you see them coming by from time to time. Yeah, you do. Okay. So now we're finally in, so <laughs> let's go into the introductions of the team. While we're at it, we have Mitch from My Insanity playing the Bloodseeker. We have Milan playing the Zeus. We have Grisin playing the Disruptor. We have Lizard playing the Visage. And we have Gogi playing the Sven. Okay, and on the side of the radiant, we have Mag playing the clockwork, rocking some sexy cosmetics there. We have G standing in from VP, playing the Shadow Fiend with the Shadow Fiend Arcana. Looks very good indeed. We have Solo playing the Shadow Demon support. We have Pasha on that position one Leshrac with very good of items indeed. And last but not least, we have Seema on the Dazzle. Good items. Yeah, he has his boots already. Actually, he's happy. Yes. <laughs> that means that Seema has been the sacrificial lamp, probably, to buy everything. Yeah. Yeah, Good they luck. just get the boots. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck, Nine Pesha. <laughs> you say yeah, the spectator. Ah, uh, whatever. Uh, see, that's how you do it. <laughs> Good uh, luck, like, well, Let's see. They're having a little like bit that. of a standoff. Yeah, there we go. They have a bit of a standoff here. <laughs> what? You have, like, Mexican dire side. Standoff. Yeah, there we go. Now they see each other. Or at least they see. Uh... Oh, goodbye, Mitch. <laughs> yeah. They saw him. Perfectly split gone. Earth and boss. Oh! Tack pause. Tactical pause. Let's go. Go DC. Go get DC. Go. All right. Just imagine what's happening on the side of my insanity right now. <laughs> oh, right, go, going. no, no, shit. And Mitch is dead. <laughs> uh, one raise in the face. Oh, no, actually, they're turning this one around. Solo is going to die here. Now they're looking for more. They're going to go after G as well of Pasha. Oh, there's going to be a splitter of hitting oh, too. Perfect. Is this going to stop it? They don't have glimpse here. They only have thunder. So no, they're going to back off right now. And who yeah. actually got the rune here? I don't even know. Okay. Uh, G. Shadow things. G got the rune. Well played yeah. by G though. And he only just survived. And Meg also got the other one. The both yeah. runes going the way of uh, Vega, but they had to pay with the first blood for it. Yeah, and just as I expected, Sven with dual lane mid. Oh, goes to go on G mid. She's looking low. Yep, and that's another kill. That's already a second kill for my insanity in just yeah. one minute of in-game time here. Yeah, G popped um, a salve as well. Yeah, just before he died, there's an extra 115 gold wasted for essentially nothing. I think that Mag is going to have a really good time up here as well, especially going the boots first. I don't think that Milan has any chance of killing Mag. Uh, not at the moment. I mean, it should be about even. Neither of them should be able to kill each other. So we, have a yeah. <laughs> we have a solo save lane Zeus. This is something you see every day. Yeah, um, I think that on the top lane they just have a mutual agreement. They just say, I'll farm, you farm. Like, not much aggression going on there. Oh, there's a, a um, bot though. There's a disruption. There they go, but they already putting down blood right. And, oh, he oh, does get God. it off with the split herb here. But he's Mitch already really low on Basha. Mitch is going to keep on following him. And there you go, another last hit and he gets it. Thirst helping him out. Uh, now he just starts to retreat. Having yeah. boost, he's a bit faster as well as Thirst. An absolute blood fest early on, and G getting up to six souls as well. Should have an easier time last hitting against his dual lane mid. Yeah, but he needs to look out. If he's a little bit too far forward, he's just going to get a yeah, storm bolt into his face. Storm hammer, I mean, and then he just, if he tries to run away after that, he's just going to get a glimpse back. Or actually, yeah. with the kinetic field, so it will just keep him there. I don't think he's... He's actually doing fine, though. 9-2 to two versus 7-0. Yeah, he's used his raises a lot to um, last it. And he's also went to the well as well. Yeah, and that was, although, a little bit... Uh, I should say it's uh, not voluntary at all. 
Yeah. There's a bit of force. Of, what do you think of the dire warding? Oh, and the mid. Yeah, go He's ahead. in trouble. And there's a defensive TP from Seema pr protecting G. Yeah, bringing him some uh, some health here. Form of assault, yeah, so, so. Um, what do you think of the dire warding then? I really like it, and I think it's um, really good for the side of the dire because this dire ward right here gives loads of vision on G and shows any uh, backup coming towards them. And mid, uh, Gogi's already got the bottle. And a bot they got the kill on the Bloodseeker though. Disruption oh. Spit Earth still there. Okay, but yeah, keep going. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, uh, they've got the bottle in mid now, so they can uh, give the bottle to Disruptor and Disruptor can go pick up the rune. A constant spam of Stormhammer. Yeah, that's not going to be fun for him at all. But G does have his own bottle now, so he can just constantly spam back with razors. I'm going to tell you something now. Mag is having a wonderful time up here right now. Yeah, being the uh, <laughs> the top farmer in the game as an off lane block work, that's always a good day. Yeah, he's, he's pulling the lane. Yeah. Easy level 6, and he's, once he's level 6, he's, he's going straight after Milan. Yeah, and I love how he's maxing that battery assault as well. This is really the fight, but oh no, Milan walked into him. This might actually be just a solo kill for him already. Milan's not able to get off any right clicks, and there you go. Yeah. Nice trap right, there, Seba Mac. Yeah. And clap into his face. Ah, he's fine. He got 79 gold off the big tomato in the jungle. And that's Max Bottle. And Seema doing very well in the jungle. He's pulling them, pulling the creeps everywhere, taking them on a little road trip. It's going really well. Yeah, so far that's doing fine. Vega after the first well, two kills, then getting one, and then losing one again. It's still getting back into it already, 3-3, and I would say that they're farming a lot better right now. Are they even making stacks or not? Yeah, they're already making stacks for the uh, for Shadowfin as well. They have one in the hard camp. Yeah, that might be when, if, I think, oh, let's go mid, Storm No, Hammer. this is just Storm, they can't really follow this up. No, fine. no, it's at all. Casual harassments, and now you can see that Milan actually can go into the lane. Because Mac just got level 6. If he goes into the lane, he's just gonna get hookshot and die. Yeah, he's decided he's gonna just start the jungle instead now. Yeah, that's, that's the better choice here. Oh, he's done the double stat. Yeah, that's really nice, using the uh, arc lightning to do that. Yeah, and the static field as well. Comboing it perfectly. Question is though, who is gonna farm this up? Is he just gonna do it himself? Because yeah, he needs to wait to get for the courier to get back then. Yeah, that's his bottle. He's not the most Deuce effective. Hmm? Deuce jungle. Uh, Mag is already level seven. I think he'd be maxing that battery assault now. He can just grab a TP and have a power treads clockwork. That's gonna be fun. Get some right clicks in there, Mag. Uh, I'm wondering if you might even go to Brawler build, just get up an, uh, an armlet. Oh, oh, armlet school basher, that's the way forward. <laughs> There's like Punch a real man face. does it. Like a real man, yeah. Oh, people yeah, saying uh, Twitch chat saying volume. Volume up for yourself. Did you check it, please? If uh, it's uh, lagging behind or not? So I can just keep hearing the game. It would be great. Oh no, Hayes Rune on solo. They're looking for a kill straight away. Who are they gonna go for? They're gonna go for the Bloodseeker. So, oh, everything is just perfectly timed here. And he just completely blow him up. And now they're gonna go after Lizard. And he's gonna take a fall here as well. The right click of Solo enough to kill him there. Yeah, great rotation. Straight up abusing yep. the, uh, the rune Cold there. Catch you especially, yeah. All right, one moment I have a phone call, sorry. That's fine, it's fine. Mech. He noticed Milan has been gone for too long and he checks the jungle, but he just finds one troll summoner all alone. And there we go, they're just taking it all in. They're really scared here on the middle right now because they just saw Shadow Demon walking uh, around. But he just came there, put a ward up here. To make sure that they can see if Milan is doing the stacks and you can already see Mac here rotating in. He's looking for the hook shot. There's no yeah, vision I'm back of him now. anymore. Sorry about that. It's fine. Is the sound lagging by the way? Uh, no, you sound fine to me. I mean on the stream. Yeah, the stream sounds fine. 
Okay, well, if guys, if your sound is actually lagging, try to go to a, a lower quality setting. That might work. Yeah. Well, it is on my phone, so I'm not too sure. It's okay. Fine. Oh, it's there's a hook shot. They find Lizard now. Mac is just gonna get a solo kill on him here. And Milan, he just can only stand there and watch his teammate die. Oh, they're not gonna try and turn this one around. Blood right doesn't hit anybody here. However, Kinetic Field here is keeping everybody in. Is there a storm? No, there is not. Cuisine taking a lot of damage here. He's gonna take a fall as well. Should have think this also dead. It's a one for one trade. And Mitch is taking some damage. He's going after Solo. Solo is able to get out here. They are to cock together now with Mech. Mech is finding this one up. Oh, Mech is gonna take cat. a fall. Yes. And oh, there comes Lizard. He should be able to kill off uh, Mech here. There we go. He should die right now. And Milan. Okay, he is also fine. Really drawn out fight here. Yeah, it's a very bloodthirsty early on. Like, this game is getting really, really interesting already. And uh, this solo, rich. That's 700 gold in, his, in the bank. Yeah, he is happy. He has his urn now, and he can even start building up towards uh, Arcanes if he wants to. Yeah, let's see what's coming out on the courier. I think he's bought a ring of regen and a ring of Basilius, is that right? Yeah, he might be going there. The old Vladimir's. Dyer's middle tower. Whom? Sorry? Vladimir's on solo. On solo? Really? Oh, oh no. He's oh, got tranquil no. boots. Tranquil that, boots. That, that's what I'm saying. That's not something that you pick up that early on the support. Yeah, he got me then. Yeah. If you're not playing a, an heavy melee or Russian centric lineup, you usually don't get it like that. As well as uh, they don't really need life still at the moment. I saw the yeah. Ring of Basilius and uh, the Ring of Regen, so I thought, oh, it might be Vladimir's offering. Yeah, there's a possibility, but yeah, I don't think they'll get it. And actually, Clockwork, Mac gets another kill here. Although Lizard was able to get his level 6, so at least he got that for going for him. But Mac, man, he is 4 1 2. He's happy. So happy. He's had a dream game so far. Oh, uh, and Arsha right now, he's also. He's doing nicely as well. He's already building up towards his Blossom right now with 41 last hits. Although, really, G, he's the one with the last hits here. 67. Woo. Yeah, it's not even 10 minutes yet. He did find the stack in uh, the Dire Jungle as well, that Milan has been stacking. Yeah, with the ward here, yeah. they can keep on looking at it. Yeah, Milan hasn't spotted out yet. That's surprising. Yeah, he didn't throw down any uh, lightning bolts. He just uses Arc Lightning to farm. Ah, uh, I see. So with Lizard's familiars, what do you think? Oh, no, big engagement here, and yeah, G getting a kill on the Zven, well played. Oh, that was, uh, okay, the game was a little bit off the mark. Disruption, Split Earth is going to hit him, the Ernest already, but he's just going to take a fall here. Mech hookshots in him to the back lines, he fi he's finding Grazina and he doesn't have Glimpse because he already used it. There you go, another kill, Lizard is now taking a lot of damage, G however. Nice drop downs on the familiars, and G has to TP out right now. However, they're walking in again, Split Earth up the mark. They're still going strong here, Mech, he is using an Invis rune. Seeing if he can find somebody who's a uh, little bit out of position, but I don't think he's able to. Yeah, that was a really good fight. Out, oh, and Milan spotted out the ward. Yeah, he tried. He threw down an uh, Arc Lightning to find uh, Clockwork, yeah, and... Sadly, yeah, he found the ward. <laughs> It's 11 minutes in currently, it's 13 to 5 to the side of Vega, and the gold graphs are looking in favour of Vega, about 6k, 7k, is that right? Uh, no more, yeah, 7, 7, almost 7.5, yeah. and Mech already has a blood, zone, a blood zone, I mean, a, a blade mill. And they find Sima here on bottom though. There's two heroes needed to kill him off. They did use Rupture though, but yeah. Yeah, uh, definitely worth it, they need to find any kill they can at the moment, they really need to catch up. Yeah, and they're just waiting for Mech to have a hookshot again, and now he has it. Stormhammer in, but Solar's already walking away, and the Familiars are not in place. They're gonna look for maybe a little bit of a push here on top, while G is already trying to do this alone. And, oh, Mech. He knows they're in the jungle again. Hookshot hits onto Milan. Better assault is there as well, and he has his blade mill on. Lizard oh, is actually oh. taking more damage than he's giving so far. TP out, it's gonna be the drop down now. There's first a glimpse to cancel it, and now the drop down follow up, and they're gonna take a kill on him now. One for one there. That, one for one. That's definitely uh, more favorable for the dire side because everyone was really close as well, so they all split the bounty, so it's quite nice. 
they get a lot of gold of that, and also a lot of XP. He was, yeah. I've, previously he was uh, the top farmer for some time, but now uh, mm. he just takes over. Yeah, uh, Solo's found the dream rune, you're probably going to give it to G right now. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Solo had magic down bottom with that pace rune and got double kill out of it. Really good. Yeah, just... So, with, hmm? with the familiars, uh, do you split push or do you use them to at the moment, know, fight with the team? At the moment you try to <laughs> use it to get a kill with Gogi here, but I don't think they're actually able to do this because <laughs> Sima is still there with a Shallow Grave if, if need be. So now I need to look out to not lose his familiars, which might be a little bit tough. Yeah, he's just gonna re resummon them. That's the best yeah, option. The wise option, yeah. How much is the bounty? Is it 100 gold for each? Am I right? Yes, it's 100 gold for each. There's gonna okay. be the aggressive weave, and they're just gonna deny the tower and start running away. Although this might be a little bit hard to walk in. Stormheimer hits, Rupture is there as well. It's on to G. Pesha is just for killing off Lizard here. Blood right in the middle of everything. G is still fine, he just ran. Outside of it though, Rupture was on him. He gets Glimpse back, he's gonna get disrupted by his own teammate a little bit defensively and they're gonna go out. Mech whips on the hookshot there, didn't hit anybody. He did get off the blade mill, so Gogi does get the Stormhammer damage back there. I've just realized that the Radiance I have so much sustain, it's unreal. Like, G in that fight, he went really, really low and he just meched up and there was constant shadow waves by uh, Sima. Really good play by the team. Yeah, they also have uh, the Urinal Solo, which also helps out in that regard. Yeah, like all the damage they put into G just got healed back up. It was really well played by the team. Nice communication. And yeah, now they're just gonna take Rush as the uh, next big objective. I'm taking the tier one in the middle. Blood right is gonna hit. Well, nearly everybody, but you're just gonna smoke up. Maybe a little bit obvious though, because smoking after Rush. Yeah. It's See obvious. if they can get something done now. Yeah. Like, G's also bottled that double damage as well, so I think they're going to commit for the tier 2 bottom. Yeah, I don't think my Sentry really wants to stop this one. They're better off just no. farming away, try to get... Yeah, this is going to be the drums onto the Sven, at least get dead for the next fight, and even then, he's not that ready to fight yet, because the magical damage is already pretty real. Yeah, Pasha hasn't prioritized um, Diabolic Edict over the other spells. Like, it's always good to have one value point and there's 1v1 engagements, right? And just to push down the tower right now. Do you think that was a wise choice for him? Yeah, he just wants to tank up here. They do have a lot of things to, to keep him down, so just getting more stats is fine. Yeah, I, I agree with you as well. Oh, yeah. he hasn't got any stats. He just hasn't got any Diabolic Edicts. He's maxed Q and the E. He's got oh, yeah. four, he didn't... zero, four built. He just has... Zero. Oh, yeah, yeah. He hasn't uh, put anything in the chest. I, I thought it was already level 10, my bad. But G is a little bit too far forward, but he's just gonna kill Mitch here. Although he dropped everything on G, he's just still walking strong here with the uh, Wrecking of Souls now. Hitting everybody a little bit on the side, not doing a lot of damage, but he still has the Aegis. And with the DD here, he gets already a double kill. And he's going after Grazine right now, he's not done. Mech just picks oh, the up rocket. the kill here. Yeah, he kills him over the rocket there indeed. And now Lizard, he is gonna take a fall as well. <laughs> oh my god. Defensive disruption, and G, <laughs> he is still alive. GG after minutes. 15 minutes! Yeah! Whoa! That's best! Well played by Vega, they just... Wow! They just showed us why they are in the world card for the international here. Yeah! Wow, that was really well played by Vega. They, they played ultimately better on the day. Wow! Well, that was a, a fast game one, just 16 minutes! And yeah! Yeah, what to say, Vega, they came and they conquered, they just completely destroyed my insanity here. We had a little bit of a, an unusual draft, but it really didn't work out that well. And no, Vega, with the standard draft, we're able to just steamroll over them. And uh, yeah, we're just going to go into the commercial break right now, open up the lobby and uh, get ready for the next match. Yep.